What's up, brochachos? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body, and today I'm going to be addressing this question that I got recently, and it was, dude, what is better for me to train with? Should I use lighter weights, or should I use heavier weights? Today, we're going to jump right into that one. Okay, start this thing off, we're going to get into some scientific case studies that were presented by the Canadian Yes, shout it out to my native land. University of McMaster, which is actually just like an hour down from me. And they did this study where they involved 49 healthy fit males who had been lifting for about four plus years, four years at least, and were training between three to five times per week. So these guys were not just some newbies that were able to just get some newbie gains just from like immediately being thrown into a uh, workout here. So this is gonna give you some accurate results and something that can reflect maybe what type of situation that you are in right now. So they split these guys up into two groups. Group A was lifting with about 50% of their one repetition max, performing workouts with rep ranges of about 20 to 25 repetitions those guys were using a lot lighter weight group B on the other hand they were using a lot of weight in fact they were getting up to about 90% of their one repetition max performing sets with the rep range of about 8 to 12 repetitions okay so group A light weights high reps group B low reps high high weight now in terms of hypertrophy which was the purpose of this study what they were able to find was and if you don't know what hypertrophy is it means just muscular gains how much size they were able to put on how much mass they were able to put on both came out completely even. It didn't matter if they were lifting lighter weights with a higher number of repetitions or vice versa, lower number of repetitions and higher amounts of weight. They both wound up making about the same type of gains. Now this is because when they were performing those lighter weights but for 20 to 25 repetitions they were getting closer to that mechanical failure, it mimicked the same type of response that lifting heavier weights with a shorter amount of rep range but achieving mechanical failure or getting close to it was able to provide them. So moral of the story, get closer to mechanical failure and you'll be able to make a the same type of muscular gains doesn't really matter whether it's lightweight high reps or high weight low reps Now when it comes to making gains on the strength, you want to push as much weight as you possibly can. How can you do this? Obviously we're going to be leaning towards heavy weight, low number of repetitions. Now the reason that we're going to do this is because we got two different types of muscle fibers, alright? You got type 1 muscle fibers and you got type 2 muscle fibers. Type 1 muscle fibers are going to be most recruited when you're using a lighter amount of weight and higher number of repetitions. And then type 2 muscle fibers, fast twitch, explosive muscle fibers, those are going to be recruited when you're using a high amount of weight. When when your body is under a lot of load. And these type 2 muscle fibers are going to be correlated to the amount of strength that you have and the amount of weight that you can push. So by using heavier amounts of weight to activate this fast twitch type 2 muscle fibers, that's what's going to get you the response of strength gains. Between about 85 to 95 percent of your one repetition max, this is going to be about the range that you want to stick in if you really want to train your strength and you want to increase that, whether it be your deadlift, your squat, your bench press, your shoulder press, any of those, stick within the 85 to 95 percent one rep max. So to conclude, should you just do lighter weights? Should you just do heavier weights? I say you should never do just one or the other. You want to be strong and you want to achieve muscular hypertrophy. You want to increase the size of your muscles. Personally, I always engage in with the first movement of all of my workouts to be a heavy compound exercise that is going to really recruit all those type 2 muscle fibers. There's two reasons I do this. Number one, I like to increase my strength, obviously. But number two, it's a great way to track the progressive overload of your muscles, how your workouts are performing for you. So if I go and do a bench press and I was able to get 350 pounds, and then the next week I'm able to get 355 pounds, and the week after that, 360 pounds, that's able to give me a good idea that the workouts that I'm doing on a weekly basis are effective, and they're stimulating my muscles, and I'm growing stronger. Whereas if you're just doing sets of like, dumbbell bicep curls for 20 to 25 repetitions and you just do the same weight kind of every single week. You're not progressively trying to add more and get closer to that 90 to 95% of your one rep max. You're not really able to really see uh, the effectiveness of your workouts so well. You just kind of have to gauge it from how's my muscle looking today, which can be fluctuated by a ton of things. How you ate the day prior, how you slept, how much water you got. So I like to use those big heavy compound movements at the very beginning of my workout when I have the most amount of energy to increase strength and to gauge how my workouts are going and gauge how my performance is enhancing. And then after that, that's when I like to get into more of my higher repetitions and I train a lot of that type 1 muscle fibers, lighter loads. I'm getting set sometimes all the way up to about 30 repetitions. These are great for hypertrophy, for pumping a lot of blood. But don't forget, we've also got the middle ground right there where it's going to be moderate amount of weight, 12 to 20 repetitions. Those are all effective as well. And I like to utilize all of these tools in my training arsenal to get the most out of my workouts. So there you guys go. 
I hope I was able to present you with some great information that you can utilize and, you know, kind of get you over the hump of, you know, what should I do, lighter weights or heavier weights? Is this going to impact the way that I'm performing? I really hope I was able to shed some light on that. And if I did, then be sure to give your boy a like down below. And also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.